This Saturday, you can join people across the country in a walk to help the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Here with us now are walk chair presidents for our local area, Marcus and Patrice Slade. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you. Okay, so Marcus, you guys are heading this up. Explain to us what this Come Out of Darkness walk is and kind of the history behind it and what you guys are trying to accomplish this weekend. So Suicide Prevention Walk, uh, American Foundation for Suicide Prevention uh, puts this on. Um, you can go in most towns, most cities and do it. We looked it up for Abilene and seen that there wasn't one. So we were like, hey, we get together. It was my wife's idea for us to be able to get together and put a walk on and see, hey, show the community what's going on, show people what um, is happening around us so often. Um, being active duty, we happen to us, uh, our family, unfortunately has had direct experience with it. So this kind of one of those things where we wanted to put it on and show people what to do. And really you probably aren't alone because you know, here a lot of times on the news we're hearing about suicide, just the numbers are increasing every single day. And so what are you hoping people kind of learn about suicide this weekend with this walk? I feel like I want everybody to know that they're not alone, like including my children, they deal with it every single day and they feel like, you know, why me, why is this just me? Mm -hmm. Or people that struggle with the thoughts or anything that they have community there to support them. And so this is the first walk for the Abilene area um, and how is registration going so far? Uh, started off kind of slow. We, we started planning a while back and then here in the last couple weeks we actually had a lot of people uh, increased participation. We ended up about 80 people right now um, and 10 teams so it has really started to boom and it kind of warms our heart. And so how do people get registered for this walk if they want to maybe have a team or individual person that wants to come and walk on Saturday? Mm -hmm. They can either go online at afsp.org slash Taylor County or you can come the day of the walk and register in paper. And so let's talk about the walk on Saturday. Explain where it's going to be at, how long the walk is going to be, and what are some other things that you guys will be doing this weekend? Okay, so when you come to the walk, it, we did it at Nelson Grover Park. Um, we did that because there's a splash pad there so the kids would kind of have something to do just in case. But the walk is normally kind of a slow pace kind of a awareness thing so when you go there what you'll see is a lot of people and we all kind of wear what's called um, awareness beads and they all represent something different so when you see people wearing different colors that means how they're impacted by suicide so as you're walking you can kind of see these things see what people are doing and you can just kind of have a thing of how this is impacting your community or the people around you because beads kind of speak mm -hmm. for you and what time on Saturday should people show up to register for those of us who are going to register at the last minute? <laughs> for registration, it's 9 a.m. and then the walk will start at 10 a.m. All right. Well, we appreciate you both coming on today. Anything else you want people to know out there? Uh, you want to go? I'll go. Okay. Um, so we also have the opportunity to help people get medical service dogs. Okay. Uh, community is coming out. They're based in Clovis, New Mexico, and they're going to help us help people who deal with anxiety, PST, PTSD, and all of that. All right, anything else, Marcus? Um, I struggle with it, and I know for a long time it was really hard mm -hmm. to kind of say anything, you kind of get embarrassed. So one of the reasons we wanted to do this was to make sure that those people that are kind of nervous mm -hmm. kind of feel a little more comfortable so that you are helpful to get the help you need and see that you're not struggling alone. All right, so it's a lot more than just a walk on Saturday. We appreciate <laughs> you doing this for our community. I know it's definitely needed out there. So if you want to come walk, it will be at Grover and Nelson Park this Saturday, September 14th. Check in time is at 9 a.m. and then the walk begins at 10 to register. You can go to AFSP.org slash Taylor County.